Hey there, and welcome back to Tim Talks Cooking. Today, we are talking, get this, we are talking bacon-wrapped dill pickle poppers, my friend. You heard me right. That's keto, bacon-wrapped, cheese-stuffed dill pickle poppers. And you're going to love this recipe. I came home from work the other day. My husband had the day off and surprised me with a little appetizer that was ready uh, just right before dinner time. I thought this was really great. He found this somewhere on the internet. Really delicious recipe. Thank you, Carl. And now we're going to make it. Let's get started. Here's what you'll need to make this really unusual and just so delicious appetizer. Here I've got a pound of regular sliced bacon. I probably won't need all of this for this recipe, but I've got this thawed and ready to go just in case. We'll see how many I actually use. I've also got eight ounces of full fat cream cheese. I've got that softened and it's in my food processor right here. I've also got a half a teaspoon each of crushed red pepper flakes, garlic powder, and onion powder. And we've got a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. As you can see, I also have some whole dill pickles that I've dried off and they're sitting here. I'm going to show you how we're going to slice and stuff them. I've also got some chives and these are actually the very first chives from my garden this year. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and now we're just going to make the filling. This is very easy. Here I've already started to sort of put my cream cheese through the food processor to soften it up a little bit more even. I'm going to put my flavorings in there. The Parmesan cheese, you could use, of course, any hard or semi-hard cheese. Cheddar would be great in this, or Monterey Jack, even Pepper Jack. In case in which I think I'd leave out the crushed red pepper flakes. And as for the chives, I'm just going to snip them off right in there, like this, till I've decided that I have enough of them. Let's rip them from the other side, too. Adds a nice fresh green color to that. I think that'll be enough. Freshly ground black pepper, I think, too, just a little. Just going to blend it together. I like to give the bowl a scrape down at least once make sure all of our ingredients are evenly blended together. And there we have it. Now, I may or may not use all of this filling. I'll bet I come pretty close to it here, but this is enough for probably 16 half pickles. Next, we're going to prepare our pickles. I'm going to pick a nice big one so you can see it well here, but it really doesn't matter what size the pickles are. You want to be careful to slice off any, any little stem end or anything that still remains, and to cut the pickle in half as evenly as you can. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the seeds inside here. To do that, you can use a spoon, or actually you could use a knife to slice around it carefully. I'm going to use this half a teaspoon to just scoop it out. Scoop up that center. I'm going to be gentle about it. Of course, pickles are brined and kind of tough, but you don't want to break them because we want this to have a nice, neat cavity to fill. And there we go. Next, I'm going to use a paper towel to dry that off, and I'm going to finish all the rest of the pickles. To make cleanup easier later on, I'm going to line this baking sheet with some aluminum foil. And then, fit it in there nicely. Then I'm going to put my, one of my uh, cooling racks in it. We're going to put our poppers on this and the grease from the bacon that we're going to wrap them in will drain down into the pan. To fill your peppers, you can use a spoon, you can really use any way you like. I'm going to use this 
pastry bag and I'm going to fill it with my filling and I'm going to pipe that onto my pickles. Like this, it's good to see if I can do it all in one go here. Oh, come on, there we go, there we go. Plop it in there like that. Now, pull our bag over it a little bit. There we go, perfect. Actually, we'll set it down now. Get all of the filling out. Set that aside. And here we are, ready to pipe this out. You could also use a gallon sized bag and just fill one corner of it and then snip the end of it off. And like I said, you can just use a spoon as well. This is just a fancy way of doing it. And as you can see, it's, there's really nothing to filling them once we've got our pastry bag ready. We're just going to pipe that right on in there. Maybe mound it up a little bit. I'm going to end up putting about two tablespoons of this mixture into the largest ones and doing the best we can with the others. Next, we're going to wrap each pickle, or each half pickle, in a strip of bacon. I'm just going to wrap it around and around until we've covered all of the pickle. Just like this. You don't want it too loose, but there's no point in getting it too tight either. And you can see I can just sort of push it around there too. With a little filling peeking out. That's okay. That's going to go on our baking sheet rack. Well, here we have our tray of stuffed bacon wrapped pickle poppers right here. Check it out. Not bad looking, right? These are going to be in there that 400 degree preheated oven for 45 to 60 minutes. We're going to keep an eye on them. We're not going to turn them or anything and we'll see how we do. There's my timer going off after 60 minutes here. Really after 45, I felt like we really need a little more time in there. And let's have a look. Oh yeah. Check it out. There we go. So after 60 minutes in the oven, you can see we've had a few explosions here. Not a terrible big deal. We'll just clean them up a little bit. And here's one, for example. Here's a small one we've got. Pretty well browned on all sides. Maybe not quite so well on the bottom, but I'll bet this will be great. These are ready to serve. Let's give them a taste. You know, I really think the question is here, how do you serve this? Is it a finger food? Do you want to serve it with a fork and a knife or something? It's kind of up to you. I kind of like this as a finger food. Let me just show you. I've got one here. It works really well this way. Mmm. Wow. This is so delicious. The sourness of the dill pickle really complements and cuts through the richness of the bacon and the cheese. Mmm. Man. The flavors are just bursting. That onion and garlic powder. The Parmesan cheese tang, too. A little salt. I think you're going to love this appetizer. I hope you're going to like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to my channel. You know it helps you find my videos. It also helps my channel grow. Thanks for joining us here today at Tim Talks Cooking. We'll catch you next time.